This video is brought to you by Triple Sleeve TCG. Check out their website at triplesleevetcg.com. Hey guys, welcome back to Nexus Core. I'm Richard and I got another update for Bastion for set two, A Brush with the Legends. Um, got not much support. Um, well, I shouldn't say not much support. There's a lot of new cards that Bastion can use for uh, the build. Um, but for the deck that I'm bringing you guys today, I'm just going to be showing you a little update in terms of just keeping the consistency and the best way I think the deck will basically function. It's kind of mostly like Bastion 2.0 for the most part, um, but there's definitely other ways that you guys can go about building this deck, but I'm just going to show you guys what I'm building for my Bastion deck after the set 2 support. So uh, starting off, just going to get the ride deck out of the way. So we all we already know what this this whole line does. So you got your starter. Fort uh, is when you ride uh, rooks over it. You look at the top two or reveal two grade three. Sorry, look at the top card. If it's a unit, call it. Um, if it's not, you go to the drop zone. And then when you ride bastion over rooks, you look you reveal three grade threes and you draw a card. Um, and you know bastion, you got the the. Uh, Drive checker grade three to restand something, and uh, all your grade threes get two K. So, yeah, Bastion deck. All right, next up, three copies of Bastion because you want to be able to Persona ride. So, gonna max that out as much as you possibly can. Uh, next, after that, I'm gonna go right into the new cards. So we got New Order. Uh, it's uh, form up O Chosen Knights. So form up O Chosen Knights, basically it works based on the number of grade threes that you have um, on your board. Um, so if you have two or more, you get to uh, choose a unit to give 5k. If you have three or more, you get to draw a card. And if you have four or more grade threes, you get to give your Vanguard an extra drive check. So basically if you have a full board of grade threes, like you usually will in Bastion, you get all three effects. So you get 5k to draw and the vanguard gets triple drive so that's really helpful because you know over triggers so you the more drive checks the more likely you are to see it and you know just more cards in hand so that's always nice front triggers exist in this deck too um as opposed to last build I only had draw triggers so getting those drive checks really do uh does come in handy and for kennel blast soul blast it's a really cheap cost and you know you get that back with facado easy so i really like this order a lot so definitely for that next up we got four copies of alden so alden skill is when it's placed you count blast two soul blast one and you um call a card if you the called card is a grade three you can draw two cards so it's your fills up your hand fills your board um the count blast two is not too heavy since bastion doesn't cost anything um, the only other card that has a heavy counterblast cost, I would say, is just the order card. So you don't have much of an issue with counterblast in this deck, so just go all out with the Aldens. So I definitely think Alden is like one of the MVPs still for this deck. So after Alden, we got four copies of Fasado, since we're going to be counterblasting still pretty heavily, but also we want to maintain the soul cost for the order. Um, so it's helpful to have that... Um, so you still want to run Fasado. It hits anything. You get to counter charge and soul charge. And also can't be targeted by card effects. So this is really helpful when you're playing against control decks or if you basically just want to kind of take advantage of your opponent's prison by... Because um, they have some new cards that let that has them in prison cards from your hand. So if you have Fasado in your hand, you can just give Fasado um, to their prison. And then on your turn, you can just call it out back onto your board and then they can't target it. So it's a good way to kind of like make sure that you're, the cards that you're pulling out of the prison don't just get sucked right back into it. So it's kind of cool to mess around like that. Uh, next up, uh, another card that helps with the soul engine, it's Raflux, uh, trial deck card. Raflux skill is you can put it into the soul and you can choose a grade three. And yeah, you choose a grade three unit and you can give it 10K. Um, this is just really helpful because the soul, obviously, but also just giving grade threes um, some power because you're going to be restanding 
a unit anyways with Bastion skill. So if you want something to swing with big number, restand with Bastion, it's going to keep that number you got with Full Fook. So definitely a 4 up for that. The cost is also free. It's just move to soul. So after that, I'm running still four copies of Dark Strain. So Dark Strain's skill is um, uh, act. You soul blast two and you give all your grade three units boost. So this card is basically what's just making the, the biggest numbers for the board um, for, for the game for the most part. Um, and a lot of times, instead of, you know, just giving 10k with Reflukes, you could just have Reflukes on the board as a 15k booster. So you kind of ended up doing the same thing in terms of numbers. Um, yeah, it's just making your grade threes 13k, uh, 15k boosters it's just really good. So I do recommend running the Dark Strains because you want to see those ASAP so you can be as aggressive, you know, as you can be. Um, next up, this is going to be the last of the grade threes. Uh, just three copies of um, Cockville. Um, I'm only running three just because I was still kind of deciding if I wanted to do three Dark Strain, four Cockville, but I decided I wanted to see the Dark Strains more. Uh, the Cockvilles are just essentially ceiling factor. They can be 15k shields, but what they do is uh, when you put them on the guard circle, they get 5k for every two of your grade threes, counting itself. So if you put it down and you have... Uh, five grade threes on your board. Counting this, you have six now uh, on the field. So it would become a 15K shield, basically like a trigger. Um, this is really good because it's a shield, but it's also a unit. So if you need to call it for costs, like with Alden, or you just need to throw down something as a booster, you can still have it be on the board too. So it's a, it's a unit and a shield at the same time. Um, so yeah, that was it for the grade threes. Uh, just finishing up with the main deck. You got to run your PGs. Um, new PG is good PG, so you guard with it normally by discarding a card. Um, if you have if you have one or less cards in your hand after you place it, you don't have to pay a cost for it. So that's always really helpful, you know. So it, you just kind of like have two of these in your hand as the last bits in your hand. And you go PG, no discard. PG, no discard. So really good PG. Pretty pretty fun design for a perfect guard, honestly. Um, onto the triggers, uh, over trigger, obviously, <laughs> um, uh, what is your name, Anna, Emma, Anna, Amartanoa, so Amartanoa is when you, um, drive check it, uh, you, of course, you get the million power, uh, remove this from play, draw a card, um, you can give your rear guards twin drive, so your grade threes after you, uh, attack with Bastion, are going to now have Twin Drive, which is really cool. So, you know, you tackle one rear, bash in, over trigger, you get a grade three as your second check, most likely, restand something, and then now your extra two attacks both have drive checks. And since you're going to be getting triggers on top of that, it just kind of like helps you ensure a game, which is what like an over trigger is designed to do. Um, overall, I've not, uh, it's not like almost guaranteed you get a win from this, especially if you get it too early in the game, because you know your opponent's just gonna take extra attacks with drive checks. Mind you don't get any crits. So but oh it's an over trigger. You get it, you you get a really good advantage out of it. On to the triggers. I decided I'm going to do crits and fronts. So I got four of the trial deck crit, three of the set one crit, so it's seven crits. And I'm running the new front trigger. So this new front trigger, what it does is if your opponent's at grade three, uh, this gets an extra 5k shield. So since we're playing a deck that mostly has grade threes and you're not, you're really struggling early game in terms of shield, um, these are really helpful to kind of make up for that. So 20k shield, it's like basically how we were back in V-Series when heals had the 20k shield. Um, so that's pretty cool, but also the fact that we can have front triggers in this deck to be defensive and on offensive plays. So if you damage check a front, your front row is an extra 10k that helps because your opponent can't just like, you know, bop your rear guards and kind of slow down your field. But also um, offensively, of course, you know, front row getting 10k, really good. Uh, so four fronts. And last but not least, Got them four heal triggers. So 
that's pretty much the deck. Uh, overall, there's been not much of a shift in terms of gameplay. I would say that I'll just talk about the new additions, which are quite literally just the the order card and the front triggers. So let me just throw a front out there, just kind of talk about it. So how it seems from my perspective is that this card does help because um, triple drive is cool. Um, you do get to basically get your card back when you pitch this for uh, for playing it as an order. You the draw cards like so you're making up for your hand. Triple drive so you get an extra card on top of that. Uh, something getting 5k does kind of help with power a little bit. Um, but overall, uh, between this and the other order card, which is the one from the trial deck, which is like an Alden clone, kind of less two draw card, draw two cards. Sorry. Um, I do like the old order a lot too. Uh, but just because this gives you that extra drive check, I do feel like it does help a lot. And the fact that it's kind of like just a counter blast one, soul blast one, just to get an extra card, I don't feel like I have to play around with my da damage if my opponent's going to be like a damage control kind of thing where they're trying to deny me counter blast or, you know, stuff like that. Uh, it's easy to be replaced with a cost for Fasado. So this, for the most part, can usually be free if you're going to be soul charging a bunch, kind of you know, counter charging a lot as well. So really liking this card in terms of gameplay. The fronts, the shield is helping out a lot. I do feel like I'm not struggling as much when it comes to playing defensive and kind of forcing myself to have to take a lot of attacks. So I do like the addition of the front. Um, I do feel like my hand kind of diminished a little bit in terms of because I'm not getting damage checked dry, draw triggers as often. So I'm not just kind of sitting there taking damage. Oh, a draw trigger more hand, you know, um, but seeing this offensively is also really nice. So I do like the fronts a lot now more than I like the draws before. So that was a quick update on my Bastion deck. Uh, if you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, just uh, let me know in the comment section below. And I'm hoping to kind of to show you guys games with this deck in the near future. So thanks again for watching and see you all next time. Bye.